And now we're joined by Amir Kahana, researcher at the Israel Democracy Institute. Uh, thanks for being with us. Um, how concerned are you by these reports that citizens of Israel protected by law are, are the subjects of this surveillance without warrants? Well, this is very worrying indeed, as uh, the police has no explicit uh, statutory authority to use any of these uh, surveillance tools to begin with, even if we somehow shoehorn them into an existing uh, legal framework such as uh, regular cell phone searches or wiretapping, both still require a judicial warrant, which is the most basic uh, safeguard against uh, abuse of power. And this is a pattern we can see all across the board. Uh, the police did the same with the Hawkeye system, the license plate recognition system that was used and still used without any statutory permission. And I was being uh, uh, challenged in the High Court of Justice. And now we learned uh, it did the same thing with the uh, NSO surveillance tools. Now, what about potential legal consequences here? I know it's early to say, and this is all based on a report, but if so, who would they target? Uh, as you said, it's hard to say at this point. I'm, I'm, I'm unsure whether there is a, a, any certain legal consequences. But, and, and in any event, it would be a, a case by case, on a case by case basis. Uh, however, there should be some public consequence to this uh, unauthorized use of surveillance measures, especially uh, measures as disputed as the uh, NSO tools, which are already contested uh, worldwide. Especially when some of these reported cases in the Kokalis piece uh, refer to incidents that had nothing to do with serious crime or national security uh, uh, um, events that may have justified, would have justified a uh, use of such intrusive measures. Now, we're seeing at least a form of response from the current government, the internal security minister Barlev answering on this subject. Does this story in your reading require an answer from those that were in power at the time of these allegations? Uh, most definitely, we, I would like to see uh, some answers from uh, whoever was in power, and, uh, and I would be interested to see uh, uh, what uh, uh, the internal uh, legal affairs uh, had to say, how, how, how this was justified uh, uh, legally, because uh, from, our, from our point of view, it's very hard to find any uh, justi justif uh, justification, legal justification uh, for this uh, kind of use. Certainly, if the allegations are true, this is a widespread surveillance operation here. Again, as it, again, according to the reports, America. Thanks for being with us from the Israel Democracy Institute.